looking at here. Uh, it's a package with writing that I can't identify. Oh, Thailand. This is from Thailand. Let's see what it says. Toy. Okay. I don't, I don't see many Thailand boxes. Ah. This is something that I used to have a long time ago. And some bitch in fucking uh, Pennsylvania never sent to me because, I don't know, she turned evil or something. Uh, wow, that's a horrible photocopy. Uh, this is Galley from Gunnam. Or, as you know in America, Battle Angel Alita. And in fact, there's a movie coming out, I think either this year or next year. Uh, I've seen trailers of it where Galley, or uh, Alita, whatever country you want to call it, uh, uh, Alita's eyes are huge. It's like they CGI'd her eyes to look big like an anime, and I'm really wondering how that'll pan out. It actually looked good. I mean, it's like, unlike uh, other attempts at live action anime, it actually looks like they're trying a bit, you know? And it's just so funny that they made her eyes wide, because they are pretty damn wide in the uh, uh, comic, you know? Uh, this looks like it's based more on her uh, uh, anime look. Because they it, it was a manga, a comic for, for a while. And then they made an anime out of it. And I didn't like the anime version that much. I mean, I didn't like her character design. She looked just like a pouty brat. Whereas in the other one, she looked like... You know, she she shifted between looking like an innocent child to a, a powerful, holy shit, she's gonna kill you kind of warrior, you know? But yeah, this is cool. It, it, it's a resin kit, and it has a cloak. And yeah, and, and I remember on my old version I had of this, on the back of her legs it came with springs. It was like spring one, spring two, spring three, spring four. It was to emulate the uh, tendons, uh, the cybernetic tendons. And I'm wondering, I'm afraid to open this because I want to see how shitty this is. Because I know the version that I had back, oh man, <laughs> 20 years ago maybe? It was really badly cast. It was the shittiest resin job I've ever seen. Well, no, the shittiest one I ever saw was a Chun-Li that was like missing her nose, missing her lips, missing part of her eye, missing a lot of her hair. Her hair was just riddled with air bubbles. Okay, well... I guess I'll just have to find out. Is it as shitty as my old one? Yeah. After doing that resin video with a... Uh, I don't know if I published that or not. After doing the resin uh, build of uh, the Die Body Polinian uh, Aphrodite A Kitty Girl, I had so much dust and shit. Not that I didn't already, but... I had so much dust and specks of crap from the resin being drilled off that I actually went and bought a vacuum. And that's especially nice since now this model's uh, packaging has plopped a bunch of uh, styrofoam bits everywhere. Now he's got to be careful with this stuff because no part is too small. Sometimes they, it's like they'll have one that they forgot to put in as an afterthought and just toss it in a box. So yeah, you gotta inspect this stuff thoroughly. Hmm. Let's see. I already see an air bubble. There's an air bubble right there at the cuff of her leg. But so far, this actually looks not as bad as the one I had. And there's an air bubble there. And I remember the one I had before. This was actually all cut out. It was already drilled down to fit her neck. Here, it's just like a big... They just chopped it off like that. It, it hasn't been... Like, I'll have to actually take a drill and carefully, you know, create an indentation there. But, you know, eh. It, each resin build, each resin uh, caster has their own different way. Uh, a little dirty, but not bad. Beep. Will that stand up? Oh my god, it does. Let's see... I'll look at her cloak next, because that's one that's probably, you know, that's going to fall over, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. This one's definitely cast way better than the one I had. Wow. I, actually, I'm not seeing an air bubble. Oh, there's one air bubble. Very easy to fix. That was where the sprue mark was. They already sanded it down. That's kind of nice. 
Yeah, this ain't bad at all. This ain't bad at all. Yeah, this is cool. That will be no problem whatsoever. Let's see. Let me see the head. The head is the important one. It's a real deal killer on these fucking resin kits, especially the ones from back in the 80s. Oh my god. It's like... You would get, like like I said, Chun-Li or something. And it, even though it was giant, they would still fuck up, like, important stuff that you just don't want to do. Like, imagine going through, like, uh, a resin kit and trying to, like, re-sculpt all the hair. Because the hair has just holes everywhere. I mean, it's just sad. And, or, like with the Chun-Li, missing like an entire nose and missing fingers so it's like the hands like ending in nubs here and there. It was just so sad. Now it's online, it's cheaper, and it's well better made. Okay, let's see. There's the head. Ooh, what's that? Is that... Okay, that's not a hole. At least not yet, anyway. It looks like it's either a hole that's really close to the surface but not broken, or... It's a hole, or, or or it's just an impurity in the, inside the resin. Other than that, though, this is actually way good quality. I mean, it's not phenomenal quality, but it's it's good. It's decent. I can totally work with this. Yeah. Here you have a curved ear that's all nice and smooth. Here you have an ear that needs a little bit of cutting right there. But not bad. Yeah, the face is solid. And one thing that usually gets fucked up on resin kits because of the way air flows upwards is the eye, uh, uh, the eyelids. This actually doesn't look too bad. Might be a little bit wrong, but not terrible. Yeah, once again, that, that is not a bad, that's not bad at all. And here's the hair. The hair is decent. The hair is decent. Yeah, cool. I hardly have any work to do there. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Even on the high ridges of the hair, there's no air bubbles. Cool. Well, you know what? I'm glad that bitch never sent me that shit from Pennsylvania because, man, this ain't bad. <sighs> it's a weird thing, too. I actually paid the lady to send my stuff in the mail, but she never did. It, she, she's a, she took over the house when uh, I moved. And she's like, yeah, sure, I'll send it. And she never did. And I don't know. It's been like five or six years now. Who knows? I mean, I've tried a million times to find out why. It's sad because I had a lot of rare toys that were fun. That looks decent. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, wow, shit. Fingers are, are a bitch on resin kits, and these ones are not bad. In fact, not only that, I, there's actually small, thin little line gaps between the fingers. Wow. And they're not broken. Man, that's going to be a bitch to cut. I better use a brand new blade when doing that shit. You do not want to fuck that up, because re-gluing something that tiny means uh, high potential for bullshit. <laughs> and it comes with an, a spare hand. I wonder why. Let me see. Why does it have spare hands? This one's kind of fucked up looking. Yeah. I don't know what the story is. This one has a spike, a finger ending in a spike. I really don't know what the story is on that. I don't remember her having a spike finger in, in the manga. Hmm. Yeah, these are pretty good. Okay, so you can have her in different arm poses. Four different arms. That's interesting. And let's see. What's this little tiny thing here? Ah, that's her armor. Shoulder armor and knee armor and type stuff, I think. That's her upper arm on one of the arms. Yeah, it's not a perfect resin kit, but it's not a bad one. Ooh. You know what? Why do I always put my foot in my mouth? Here I'll have to do a little bit of re-sculpting if I'm using that one. Because there's a little uh, uh, air bubble right there. It's still not bad, though. <laughs> still not bad at all. Yeah, some shaving there, but not bad. And you've got the cybernetic mesh going off her arm still intact. Uh... Yeah, these aren't bad. Here, here you have a little bit of a indentation where an air bubble is, but that's not bad either. This is not bad at all. This is actually pretty decent. It's not phenomenal like that Karen model or like that Dibody model, but 
I mean, it's 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 up there. And not only that, the die body uh, Polinian uh, Aphrodite Eight Cat Girl, she is brand new. I think it was either 2017, 2018. I don't know. I'm 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 just throwing shit out here. Anyway, it was sometime after 2011. I would say that that was made. No, actually, Polinian came out only a few years ago. So yeah, I would guess it would be 2016, 2017, 2018. One of those uh, Wonder Festa kits. Because, you know, so, so I mean, that's modern times. And also, that uh, Karen model, that can't be more than three years old, I would say. Maybe four. So, yeah. It, this this model is from the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least, at least the early uh, 1990s. So, having this perfect is a, a hopeful thing. <laughs> but, you know... I mean, it, it's been reproduced like so many times, it's not even funny. Yeah, it, there's some uh, seam lines and stuff where it was in the mold, but that's not bad. That's expected. That, that is totally fixable. Oh, man. Yeah, this ain't bad. Uh, I notice this does have some of the errors that the old one I had had. Like, here you have... Uh, a circular pattern, uh, a circular guard that goes on her uh, knee, knees like that. And on that one, it's pretty well done on both sides. This one, it's missing, I would say, 10% of it maybe. And, you know, that's not a deal breaker at all because any circular piece of anything can fucking go there, you know. I mean, it's not like I'm just going to paint it and <laughs> slap it together. I will have to fix that. But that is such a small thing to fix. And also, I could probably even be more elaborate, shave down all those uh, knee joints and put, like, a some kind of cabochon gem there and, you know, just make it look better. You know, add a little personal touch to it. It's always good to add a personal touch to a resin kit. But, yeah, this is nice. Uh, I'm really glad I got this. It's a pity I don't have the one that I had from back in the 80s, but <laughs> this one's going to be way easier to put together. I am not sure. I am almost under the impression that this is not as tall as the one I had before. I wonder if that's right. I could be wrong, but possibly not. And another thing I just realized, even though these legs here have the uh, two holes for those springs I was mentioning. This didn't come with the springs. That's interesting. But having had it in the 80s, and, you know, I, I'm able to know that that's supposed to be there and that exists, so I'll just have to hunt down two little wires or two little springs to put in there to make it look more cybernetic-y. Yeah, that's funny, because it, it's like, they don't really show it on here, and it, there are no instructions. So, yeah, it's only because I... My, my previous uh, ancient knowledge of having had one before that I know that it, it's missing that. And I don't think it's missing anything else. Okay. Let's just get this out of the way. And yeah, like I said before, eventually in these videos I will have all of this shit built and uh, displayed nicely, probably with a better equipment too. So it's not like you're, you'll never see that again. You will see it built up. I just am... Oh, so busy. Get away from me, you dirty fembot! <laughs>